My name is Jennifer Wilson. I am the brand manager for Biobased Insulation. Biobased Insulation is a spray polyurethane foam insulation. Spray polyurethanes are super effective insulators because they insulate and air seal at the same time. Uh, what we've done as a company is really focused on increasing the sustainability of spray foams. Um, in our instance, we're able to replace a portion of the petroleum um, with soy, which is our bio content that we use. Uh, we also have products that are water blown instead of being chemical blown. Um, and then we have a product by 1701 that has been Green Guard certified for children in schools. Um, when you look at our family of products that we offer, open cell and closed cell, uh, they range between 3% and 16% bio content in the finished foam. The, the cool thing about the product is um, our product compares with any other spray foam that's out there on the market. When you're talking about our value, uh, when you're talking about performance, um, adding, increasing the green aspects of the product does not affect the performance of the product at all. So that's a really cool feature that we have. Um, if you're looking at our open cell product at like three and a half inches installed, that's an R13. Um, for our closed cell product, if you're looking at three and a half inches installed, that's an R19. Cost comparison with other spray foam insulations, we are all right there across the board. We're pretty cost competitive. When you look at spray foam as compared to cellulose or fiberglass, you're going to be at least two to three times more expensive. But the other thing that a homeowner needs to remember, or even a builder needs to remember, is you're getting something that seals and insulates in one step. So you're, you're really getting a stronger, better product, and you're paying for that. Okay, I mentioned earlier about um, bio-based insulation, spray foam insulations in particular, giving a seal and an insulate. Um, so this is a really great example, and it's a simple example that we use. Um, this is a hair dryer that's in the lower cavity, so that's pumping heat and air into the into the hot box. Um, here you have cellulose. This is all R13s this is what's being shown. So you have cellulose, you have spray foam insulation, and you have fiberglass. Um, you can see the temperature differences between the two, so you can see that it actually insulates. Um, but then the other thing that's really cool, uh, to talk about an air seal, you can see that air is escaping here and is escaping here, but it's not escaping through the one that's got spray foam. So it's a really simple illustration of it being an air sealer and an insulator as well. <laughs> so the lower temperature that you're seeing here on the spray foam shows that it's sealing and insulating. So that insulation is keeping the hot air down in this area and preventing it from entering into this area, just like it would in a house.